Um, for, the, for all our viewers out there, um, people fail to realize that boxing as a sport started here in England uh, with Queen's Rule Boxing before it became the Mecca in, in Las Vegas. But there's a lot of things here in England that happen on the boxing scene, amateur and pro-wise, which there's a lot of prospects. There's a lot of fighters here in the, in the UK who are good fighters. Do you think fighters in this country aren't getting their, their fair dues as compared to the, the fights across, over the pond? No, I, no I, think, I think the fighters are getting... I think, I think it's pretty fair. I mean, we, we, I, I travelled over to the, uh, to the, to the States, uh, I think, three weeks ago for the... Um, the uh, Peterson Garcia fight and the mm -hmm. Andy, Andy Lee Peter Quillian fight. Yeah. And the way that they put on a show, um, like the promotion, no. um, and the amount that the fighters give, yeah. I, I, I can see why it's 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 a lot bigger in America and why why the names are a lot bigger. It, it, there, there's it's just something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. I, I can't I couldn't tell you what it is, but I believe that. Even I believe that America is where it's at, right. boxing terms. I remember Amir Khan once stated that um, if he was going to take it to the next level as a professional when he, uh, after the Olympics, he had to go to America and find him a trainer. Now he's with um, uh, Andre Ward's uh, trainer. And he feels that when he left Freddie, uh, Freddie Roach, that this was the right move for him to arrive on the world scene. Do you feel at some point that is um, a sort of um, tactical move, and that's the sort of approach a lot of British fighters should take. Or is it happening? Is there enough stuff here for British fighters to actually prosper? No, he's. Do you know what? He he's one of these fighters that don't get enough credit over from his UK fans. He's he's been knocked out, and he's every time he comes back better. I mean, Freddie Roach is a brilliant trainer, right. but it got to the point where Khan had defensive flaws, so he went. You know, did the did the right thing in my my. Yeah. You know, you, people say about boxing is about being loyal. It is. It's about being loyal, but it's about being safe. That's right. Khan's a great fighter, fast hands. But what he went and went and done, he looked at people like Andre Ward, who rarely gets hit. Right. Um, linked up with Virgil Hunter. Right. Um, and you've seen in his last two performances. I mean, you could count the number of shots he took on one hand. I mean, the uh, Devin Alexander fight was, was a classic example of what Virgil Hunter would, would do for fighters. He actually reinvigorated um, Amir Khan. In, in, your, in your view, talking about the British contingents right now in the world scene, um, there's quite, the welterweight division is, the, is a division that everyone talks about. And the UK is represented quite well with Kell Brook, um, Amir Khan, uh, just to name a few. Do you think that the UK has good representation in the um, on the boxing scene, the welterweight and the lighter weights? Yeah, I think I think we're we're, we're up there thereabouts. I mean, you've got to look at you know the two best of fighting this uh, this week, but underneath that, you've got to say Amir Khan and Kel Brook are, are literally, although it be a future, but they're just behind them, just behind them. In in your view, if you were to make a hypothetical fight. Um, and let's say Mayweather was not fighting Pacquiao this week, and he had to fight a fighter of the, the ones you just mentioned between Kell Brook and Amir Khan. Who gives Mayweather a tougher fight? Amir Khan, all day long. Why so? He's fast, he's got long levers. He, he's not just fast with his hands, he's fast with his feet. Um, again, Amir Khan's been places where Kell Brook hasn't been. You know, and, and that's no disrespect to Kell Brook because people could say that Kell's kind of not been caught with his big shots mm -hmm. because he's, you know, his defence is pretty good. But Amir Khan knows what the big stage is about, um, and he's fallen on the big stage, and he's he's come of age on the big stage. So he's, I think, he would give, I would tip him actually to beat Floyd. Um, well, we'll get to that in a minute. But I mean, like, and back to the the point you made in reference to um, Amir being in places where. Um, Kell Brook hasn't been. However, being, fighting on the biggest stage, Kell Brook did show a lot of gumption to go actually in California and fight Sean Porter in his backyard and take the belt off of him. Yeah, again, that, I mean, to me, I, I like Kell Brook, you know, mm -hmm. first and foremost, but I, I didn't have him winning that fight. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you can argue either sides. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, great performance. But the, the rant about Sean Porter being a great fighter, to me, I didn't, I didn't see it. I thought, he, I think he's a very good, very good world champion. Um, but I wouldn't have, again, I'd, if I put 
Amir Khan in with Sean Paul, I'd expect him to do a better job. Yeah. Um, it's not that I'm a, I'm a massive Amir Khan fan, it's, yeah. it's just the way that I see the two boxers. Well, yeah, we're just talking boxers, you just think boxer for boxer, pound for pound, Amir Khan has over, over a Kell Brook, is, is your point? I believe so, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. So if Kell, Kell Brook has been calling uh, Amir Khan out, and Kell Brook has called uh, Amir Khan uh, whisker chin, like he's soft around the whiskers, he says a soft chin, if they fought today or tomorrow, you hands down believe Amir Khan wipes the floor with uh, Kell Brook? Um, he wins that fight. He, win, he wins that fight pretty, pretty handily. Yeah. Really? That, that's, yeah, yeah, again, my opinion. I, I think that it, just too fast, the, the foot, what everyone says about Kell Brook's timing, mm. but he's, he's never been in with anyone anywhere near as fast as, Kel, uh, as Amir Khan. Oh, his hand speed is ridiculous. Exactly. Yeah. Um, now, on to the, uh, the uh, fight of the, Dean is a fight of the century, the Mayweather-Pacquiao fight. Who's your pick and why? Um, I'm going, I mean, it seems like the obvious uh, option. I'm, I'm going with Floyd, I'm hoping uh, Pacquiao. Uh, but looking at boxing, this guy adjusts, always finds a way to win. Um, as much as I rate Pacquiao, um, I can see this fight being like, um, like when Mayweather boxed Marquez. It'd be just too small. Um, Pacquiao would be too small, Mayweather would be too smart, and it, he would be picking him up every single time he tries to come in. Every single time. I don't even see it being a hard fight. Oh wow. Um, it's funny because the people that I've, uh, I've interviewed recently, um, whether they be boxers or, pr or promoters, somehow hold the same contention. I think it's from a purist boxer perspective, that's the, the most accurate perspective to take. Yeah, I mean, you've got, you got to look at it. The build-up's brilliant, you know, what Sky do and, you know, all the training clips here, there. But you've got, you've got to look at performances, um, you've got to look at records. Um, Floyd's had some close fights, some controversial wins. You yeah. know, some, again, I thought De La Hoya beat him. Yeah. Um, but Pacquiao has been knocked out before. He's been outpointed before. Um, again, you can't really measure boxing on this, but if you look at the job that... Mayweather did on Marquez and win or lose when Pacquiao boxed Marquez he always kind of struggled with, with him um, but again that could be a clash of styles but if you, if, you, if you look at the overall picture it should be a comfortable win for Floyd Mayweather no. right now yeah. or do you, um, there, there's, no, there's no one there's no one around that I can really I've got my, my, my coach Chris Daly I've got a few good friends but there's no one I can really say I'll go to and, Fitness guys, TerryLawmore.com, the home of real fitness. In TM Fitness, we are illustrating that fitness is for everybody, not just athletes, but non-athletes alike. But more.